everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm so excited for you i have a massive red bubble haul to show you guys i got so many things from Redbubble. A little while ago, I woke up and I was just kind of playing on my phone in bed and I got a notification from Redbubble and they're like, guess what? We're having like 40 to 60% off the entire website from like today until day after tomorrow. So I was like, well, okay then. I bought a whole bunch of stuff. A buttload of stickers, a mug, some new clothes. I bought some notebooks. I almost bought a pillowcase. I was like this close to getting a pillowcase and then at the last second I was like, nah, don't need a pillowcase. But before I begin, I just wanted to say that I am so freaking happy today because I got my second dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. I am thrilled i got my first dose at the end of april i got an email maybe less than a week ago a little bit less than a week ago saying if you got your first dose in april starting june 14th you can book your second dose i don't know when this video is going to be going up but just for reference today is june 10th I have like four days until I can book my second vaccine. I get to work today and currently at my work, everyone is on a rotation so that we can all take turns working from home and you know, like social distancing and stuff. And someone who is on the opposite rotation of me was in the office today. So I was like, oh, hey, haven't seen you in a while. How's it going? What you doing here? And she said she swapped her working from home day with another girl because where I work, which is a hospital, they were doing a pop-up clinic for any staff members who had their first dose in April. They could come in today and get their second dose. I didn't know about this, but I was like, well, I got my first dose in April. Can I go get the second vaccine? So they made an announcement being like at this point in time, all staff members who have received their first dose can come now get their second dose so you can bet you're behind that I booked my butt up to that unit and I got my second vaccine I am so freaking happy and I also learned that as of today basically anyone in my province who did get their first dose in April can now get their second dose which is great news I'm very very happy I feel so very fortunate that I was able to get my second dose and I'm really hoping that all the rest of my family can get their second dose soon so that at least my family we can kind of start seeing each other again go back to a normal lifestyle ish let's get into this haul because it, that had nothing to do with this but I just wanted to say because it's just been a great day I'm feeling so happy and yeah now let's look at a whole bunch of stickers I bought the first thing I got is a mug this is actually the first mug I've ever ordered from Redbubble and I've had this on my wish list for a while and I thought with this sale I may as well order it I actually ordered this for Sam and it is just a white mug that says pour yourself a cup of ambition which is from this song nine to five by Dolly Parton Sam absolutely loves Dolly Parton <laughs> he is a shameless fan of Dolly Parton absolutely loves her and was so excited when I gave this to him I need water my throat is dying <clears throat> better it did say that it is dishwasher safe but I haven't actually put it in the dishwasher yet because I was waiting to film this video before I did my only thing I don't really like about it is that it's on like the front part here like normally designs on mugs are like here where when you hold it so that's my only issue with it but I think it's so cute and I have been looking for a mug for Sam that either says pour myself a cup of ambition or just a mug that says ambition I'm very happy I found this and got it for Sam hopefully it holds up in the dishwasher I'll maybe put in an update let you know let's do the stickers last because I have a lot of stickers so these actually just arrived today I believe these are the notebooks that I ordered because Redbubble prints these things as they're ordered they do ship kind of separately like as things are made they ship them out pretty much all of my stickers were shipped together and then all of the clothes were shipped together and then these notebooks were just the last thing that arrived I got three wire bounded notebooks 
all with lined paper and the first one I ordered is this just beautiful design of the Disney castle I'm a sucker for notebooks I have so many notebooks I do actually use them though I'm not just like a no notebook stationary hoarder I mean I am but I actually do use it I use all of my stationary stuff I have like 16 notebooks just surrounding me right now but they all have a purpose I got this one that just has this really beautiful design it kind of looks like a blueprint which I'm all about I absolutely love Love it. So in Disneyland and in Disney World, they have a door that says open since 55 Walt's casting agency. It takes people to make the dream a reality. So it's kind of like they're like casting door, like, you know, for employees or cast members kind of a thing. I didn't know about this door actually until I started working in Disney World. And now every single time I go to either Disneyland or Disney World, I always make a point to take a photo with this door. I just loved this notebook and grabbed it. The last notebook I got, some people may not realize that this is Disney at all. If you do understand this reference, you are a pretty hardcore Disney fan like myself, but it just says, thank the Phoenicians. So the story behind Thank the Phoenicians is in the ride Spaceship Earth, which is the giant dome in Epcot, they have an entire ride in there. It's called Spaceship Earth. If you've never done it before, it is amazing. You need to check it out. Also, like barely ever has a line. So there you go. This entire ride takes you through the history of the written language. And part of it is when they talk about how the Phoenicians actually came up with a common alphabet for everyone to use basically for trading. It's actually Judy Dench who narrates it, which just makes it even better. There's a part where she says, remember how easy it was to learn your ABCs? Thank the Phoenicians. They invented them. And so I just love this so much. This was something I really debated getting on like a hoodie or something, but I just thought like thank the Phoenicians for learning your ABC so obviously it needs to be something written so it needs to be a notebook so now we'll go into the clothes that I got I mostly got t-shirts but I got one sweater and one long sleeve shirt so the sweater I got is this uh, gray color and it's just a pullover sweater and then the logo on the front it says Tatooine. Visit Tatooine New Republic Travel Bureau. Like a sweater you'd get in a gift shop kind of a thing, which I really liked that about it. It has R2-D2 and C-3PO there in the corner and it has the two moons. And this feels so soft, but it also feels really, really light, which I like. I got this in an extra large because it's a sweater, so I'm going to be wearing it over things. So I wanted it a little bit larger. I got one long sleeve shirt and this is something that I have wanted for so long and I was like you know what Redbubble's having a sale I'm gonna order it. it is a Shroot Farms long sleeve shirt this was another thing I really debated like what kind of thing I wanted it printed on and then I finally just ended up with a long sleeve so it says Shroot Farms bed and breakfast and then it has a beat on there this I also got in an extra large I probably could have gotten this in a large but I like baggy clothes. Then just for shits and giggles, I got a DuckTales shirt. I love DuckTales. I love the original series and the new series is amazing. <laughs> It is so good. I think I've mentioned this before, but if you haven't watched the new DuckTales on Disney+, Plus, you need to go watch it immediately. It is so freaking good. This is obviously, you know, the original DuckTales, which is still fantastic. Love Scrooge McDuck so much. He's my fave. This was one I almost ordered when I ordered clothes for my month of wearing Star Wars clothes. I almost ordered this, but then it was like, you know what? I really should only order Star Wars-y clothes right now. But then when they were having this sale, this was literally the first thing in my cart. And it, is a, and it just says, music by John Williams. I love this so much. I love anything to do with John Williams. I think I literally searched John Williams and this was like my favorite thing to come up. It is so simple, but I love it. This is a really simple one too. It's just a white t-shirt and then on the kind of like breast pocket kind of area is just a silhouette of Boba Fett because why not? It's super simple, I like it. This one I'm not 100% sure about. 
I really liked it online, but then when I got it and I'm kind of looking at it a little bit closer, I can't decide if I want to keep this or not. It's a Haunted Mansion shirt. Up close, it's just like the Haunted Mansion and then inside the mansion. My issue with it is I don't really love like the design of the, I don't know, ghosts or whoever that are on the ride. I don't know if you can see them on the doom buggies and stuff i don't know what they're supposed to be like if they're supposed to be something they're definitely not anything to do with the haunted mansion so i don't really know and i can't decide if i like them or not I have a little while that I can still return this to Redbubble. Redbubble does do free returns and exchanges. So I do have a little bit of time that I can kind of mull it over and decide whether or not I want to keep this or not. I do really like it. I just can't decide if I can get over those creepy things. I don't know what they are. I don't know what they are and they're kind of creepy. I need to figure it out. So those are all the t-shirts I bought for myself. All the t-shirts I got myself in a large and they're the classic t-shirt. You can order any of these designs on any type of shirt like a tank top or a v-neck or a women's size. I get the classic ones because they're unisex and I just find that they fit better. The last t-shirt I have is actually a shirt that I bought for Sam and I got him this in an extra large but it is a little big. I think it's a little too big for him but anyway it's just a white shirt and it says First of all, I'd like to thank the Academy. If you maybe watched my wedding video at all, you might know that Sam loves the Oscars. I don't like them at all, but I thought this was hilarious. And we do have a plan to hopefully, if things are okay, to still go on a honeymoon in January and what we want to do on that honeymoon is go to Los Angeles and also Disneyland but in Los Angeles in particular they are opening up an Oscar museum and I just thought that'd be a fun t-shirt for him to wear if we do get to go there now we're gonna go through all of my stickers I have a lot so I'm just gonna go through them really really quickly I mostly order these a little bit for myself but also for projects that I've been working on lately I'll show you what I've been working on to give you kind of an idea I've been making making these collages. I've been having so much fun with this. I make these out of day-to-day -day calendars. So in 2019, my cousin gave me a Disney day-to-day -day calendar for 2020 and I kept all the pages as like I was going through the days and I didn't want to throw them out but I like had no use for them. Just like googled and pinterested collages and then I just like kind of came up with ideas of doing this. So I've made a whole bunch. I have them all listed on Poshmark if you're interested in getting any of these. I really enjoy making these but I mean I can't keep all of them. I've made like eight already and I can't keep all of them. If you're interested in any of these I do have them posted on my Poshmark. My Poshmark will be listed down below if you are at all interested in helping me out and supporting a friend and maybe purchasing one of these. Along with the like day-to-day -day calendar pages, I thought I would get like some more stickers and things like that to add into them. I do get these stickers for like my, my own things like my agenda and stuff, but then I also thought these would be fun to, you know, add to these collages. First one, we have the Dr. Doofenshmirtz file picture, which first of all, this is hilarious that this is his photo that they use on file for him. And then this was a set of all the Disney parks. And then on the same page, they just have a tiny one that says see you real soon. I don't know if the see you real soon came with these ones. I honestly ordered so many, I don't remember. But anyway, there's those ones. Speech bubbles that say, hello there, General Kenobi, hilarious. And then it says, I'm Ray, Ray Skywalker. This one's really pretty, it's so pretty. It says, rebellions are built on hope. And then this one's my favorite. It says, blow that piece of junk out of the sky. Another Star Wars one, why does everyone want to go back to Jakku? And then we have Ray's lightsaber. I think I might keep this one. If I do make like a Ray um, collage for anyone, um, I'll probably order another Ray lightsaber sticker to add to it. But I think for now, this one's mine. Tell that to Kanja Club. And then we have just this pretty kind of silhouette of Ray and BB-8. And then we have the Disney parks that says, this is my happy place. I think I can handle myself. Kylo Ren. But this one is from Walt Disney World. It says, here you leave today and enter the world of yesterday, tomorrow, and fantasy, which this sign and a similar sign are both in the entrances to the Disney parks. And we have this one, which is also kind of like the Tatooine shirt, but it is Exegol. It's 
Mexico National Parks, visit the unknown regions. And then this one, which is like a location, like stamp or whatever it's called, but it's the high ground. Then I have another kind of Star Wars-y silhouette. This one is the three droids, BB-8, C-3PO, and R2-D2. It's like a galactic background, super cool. Experimental prototype community of tomorrow, which is Epcot. A113, which if you didn't know, is hidden in all of the Pixar movies and quite a few Disney movies. And then we have just this glittery, gold castle and then i think this is like the only one that has nothing to do with star wars or disney but it just says save the sharks keeping that one for myself please stand clear of the doors por favor mantenga de la hala de la suentes <laughs> sorry i know i said that completely wrong but if, if you've been to disney world you know what i mean and then we have another location and it is main street usa everything is satisfactual from splash mountain told you i got a lot kilimanjaro safari logo and then we have Anakin's lightsaber, and it says, may the force be with you. Then we have the Epcot globe. This is Spaceship Earth. This is what I was talking about with the thank the Phoenician. Go on the ride inside of Spaceship Earth. You will not be disappointed. It's also like a longer ride. It's not like a fast, crazy roller coaster, but it's like, you just like get off your feet, you relax, you kick back. Judy Dench basically narrates you to sleep. It's amazing. This is the safety logo on all the Disney rides that basically says, Keep your hands and arms inside the vehicle, supervise children. So that's like the one that is famously in Disney. This was all one order and it came with nine different <laughs> vehicles in Disney. So we have Dumbo from Dumbo the Fly Flying Elephant. We have a Doom Buggy from the Haunted Mansion. We have a seashell from the Little Mermaid Red. We have the People Mover, Buzz Lightyear's Space Spin, what's it called? Buzz Lightyear, Buzz Lightyear, Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin. A Honey Pot from Winnie the Pooh, the train, the Splash Mountain Log, and then the pirate ship from Flight with, or Flying with Peter Pan. That's not what it's called. What's it called? Peter Pan's Flight. Peter Pan, Pan. Peter Pan's Flight. And then I also ordered, because why not, I ordered a buttload of these just generic castle stickers for my collages. Here's an example of how I did a collage with that sticker. So I put a sticker in the corner of this collage here, kind of like the title for what this particular collage is. Same thing with these stickers, you can order them in sizes. Usually I get small stickers because when you get I think up to 10 small stickers then they reduce the price. They don't do that for medium or large or extra large stickers. I don't remember ordering this sticker in a large. I'll have to double check but look how giant this sticker is. So I don't know if this is the standard small size. I highly doubt it. I think I accidentally ordered this in a large and then forgot to like size it back down when I realized that it didn't get discounted. I don't remember, but either way, this will make a fun collage piece. That is everything I got. Lots and lots and lots of stuff. I know I've talked about Redbubble before, but before I go, I just wanted to say a couple more things about Redbubble if you've never heard of them before. So basically the idea of it is that independent artists can upload their designs, their like graphic designs and stuff onto this website and then people can come onto the website and get these designs printed onto basically anything, whether that is a notebook, a sticker, a shirt, a mug, a pillowcase, a scarf, a skirt, wall tapestry, a canvas, like they literally have almost anything you can think of, you can get these designs printed onto. This isn't exclusive to a notebook. You could get this on a phone case, on like a laptop skin, on a sticker, on a t-shirt. I just chose to get these specific things on notebooks. That's like the great thing about Redbubble is they have all these amazing designs and you can put them on basically anything you want. For this, for example, I didn't really love it on a t-shirt, but I really liked it as a notebook because like I said, I like that it's like a blueprint. Another thing I love about Redbubble is the fact that these are independent artists who upload their designs to the website. It is in a way kind of like ordering from a small business because it is independent artists that upload their designs and then Redbubble is the one who prints them onto the things. So obviously Redbubble does take a portion, but a portion of what you pay does also go towards the artist. So the things aren't cheap by any means. 
I could go to Walmart or the dollar store and get a notebook for way cheaper. However, I do like the fact that I am supporting a independent artist by purchasing their design and getting their design printed onto a notebook or a t-shirt or a sticker or anything like that. That's one thing that I do really, really love about using Redbubble and purchasing from them. I do feel good about myself when I buy things from them because I know that I am still supporting like not just a giant corporation, but also like an independent artist. Obviously, yes, you can sub you can buy things from small businesses and then 100% of the proceeds go towards a small business. But sometimes Redbubble just has these things that I specifically want. Trust me, I do look for certain things like this on places like Etsy and stuff. And sometimes I just can't find exactly what I'm looking for. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you liked everything. Redbubble will definitely be linked down below. Highly recommend checking them out. Support an independent artist by purchasing their designs. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would love if you could subscribe and give it a thumbs up. I post new videos every single Friday plus bonus videos every once in a while and I'd love to have you here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye everybody.